Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KipAdger.com, here today to talk to you about a hot dog hike. What the hell is a hot dog hike? Good question. Basically, it's actually a fairly descriptive term for a skill building hike that ultimately culminates in cooking some hot dogs. What do you need? You need some willing participants, probably some hot dogs, and then you need some sort of fire starting device. Ended up bringing this guy, the Polystriker XL by Exotac, as well as some Swedish Fire Steel 2.0. And I think we probably had one other method too. But ultimately, it's about getting out into the woods. I ended up bringing my two boys, as well as my buddy and his two boys. And you don't have to hike far. It doesn't need to be a forced march. We probably ended up maybe a quarter mile from where we parked. But issue being access, if you're somewhere close, easily accessible. Lots of people go there. So when we first got there, spent some time just picking up trash around where we decided we were gonna light our fire. Next order of business, of course, was gathering some wood. Kids get some crazy ideas. My son's like, we should chop down a tree. Knee jerk is like, no, we're not gonna chop down a tree, but opportunities for learning abound. So you know what, go ahead and chop that tree down. Of course, he picks this like whip and decides to cut it down, this little pine whip. And eventually he finally does. And you know what, later we learned that wet wood that you just happen to cut down does not burn. So we continue to find wood that would burn for our fire. Next, my buddy Jeff kind of went through batoning with some of the boys. Showing them kind of how it works, how you could basically take a bigger piece of wood, split it into another piece of wood in a much easier way if you didn't have a hatchet, which we actually did have. But again, just that skill building. After that, it was like, all right, let's build our fire, guys. So immediately they start throwing on bigger pieces than we obviously need. And we start talking through it like, hey, do you think that'll catch on fire very easy? Or do you think we need some little sticks? So eventually, again, allowing them to fail and bringing it back around and teaching them like, hey, this is how we start a fire. We want to start with really small stuff and moving on and progressing from there. After that, try to get a fire started. All the boys took these little handfuls of moss and tried to throw some sparks into it and try and get it. And it's obviously important to be encouraging with them. And once you show them that they can get sparks, most people are pretty tenacious and really want to keep after it. And so they kept working at it, kept working at it, kept working at it. Eventually you might get down there and be like, hey, maybe like this. Show them how maybe a better way to do it is. And eventually get a little flame. Of course, did get a flame for one of my boys. And he immediately wants to put like a log on it. It's like, eh, maybe we should put a smaller stick on it. But keep going, keep going, keep working at that skill. Eventually, figured maybe we can kickstart this thing a little more and basically ended up shaving off some fat wood for him. Just a little extra tinder to try and get this stuff going. And depending on who you're working with and how tenacious they are and how willing they are to just keep after it, eventually you might need to step in, give them a little bit of hand and help them get a little flame going. Once we got a flame going, everyone was pretty excited and wanted to keep this thing going. So everyone started going. Again, you have to restrain some people because they want to throw a log on immediately. But get this thing going, build it up, and make a decent little fire out of it. Then comes everyone's favorite part, actually get the hot dogs. Depending on the age group that you have with you, bring extras. They will end up falling in the dirt, all kinds of other mishaps, but eventually they'll figure out how to basically get them on a stick so they'll stay on a stick so they can cook them over that fire that they just built.
After everyone's full, done eating their fill of hot dogs, still more learning. Basically going over how to properly put out it. a fire to you're make sure you're it. not gonna burn down the forest after you leave or while you're still there. But having done that, kids being kids, basically cut them loose to go explore. The purpose of a hot dog hike is to get kids or pretty much anyone out into the woods to go practice skills and to have it actually culminate into something fun. Get a roast hot dogs or maybe some s'mores, whatever you want to bring out there. And it's just a great way to introduce people to skills. Obviously, the hot dog hike is centric around fire starting, but you can use the same concept with pretty much any skill you want to work on. So hopefully this is helpful. If you go on a hot dog hike, let me know how it goes for you. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.